What is up guys? Uh, today, I'm kind of, I mean, I kind of felt bad, you know, really about not uploading before. I was just, you know, kind of tired. I kind of forgot about it, you know, so like, I felt bad about that. And I figured I'd upload a couple videos today. By a couple, I just mean, you know, a decent amount. Just to make up for it. I really, sometimes, if I feel inspired, I might just talk a lot more about stuff. So, without further ado, about, without all that annoyingness, uh, basically, I will be discussing which is better, rounds or bars. So, let's start off with their advantages. Now, rounds... First off, before I even start with that, I'm going to say this was this is a very highly debated thing, especially, you know, with some people I know. A lot of people would argue one over the other, and, you know, it, it really, I mean, it really is a hot topic, basically, at least in the silver stacking community. So I really wanted to kind of put my own opinion on it. I don't want anyone to feel pressured to do anything, you know, I just kind of want to uh, make sure that you have all the facts at least. Even if you don't feel compelled to agree, at least you'll know what you want. So this, now let's actually go to the advantages here. Rounds, uh, their advantages is they are, they oftentimes, although they're generic, they kind of, I feel like they have a little bit more of a uh, design to them, kind of my own opinion, but I feel like, I, I feel like rounds are just nicer to look at than bars. They're prettier. Uh, also, they go down usually in smaller weights than bars, so they're easier to store. Uh, they're e very easy to store when you have tubes. You know, you can stack 20 or 25 of them in one tube. Very easy to conceal. You know, nobody would even who is not even in the silver stacking business or just in the metal stacking in general. They wouldn't really know what was in that tube. You know, and a couple other things there. Very easy to buy in large bulk. If you're trying to buy a one ounce bulk, you know, buy, let's say a monster box, 500 of them, and then sell them one ounce at a time, make a little bit of a profit, not as much, you know, because you're still having to pay a little bit more over spot because you're getting each individual bar, but for buying in such bulk, you're gonna be paying a little bit less, you know, so they're easy to make a profit off of if you have the money, which is the other thing you gotta have. And they also are, I wanna I wanna say easier to track, but they're kinda of easier to manage, I feel, because they although they are oftentimes smaller, you usually will have them more maybe not categorized, but just you know, they're in a lot better of a distinguished category. And of course some rounds do have special, you know, values to them and everything. They have that really high over spot price so like those are nice if you get the collector series you know sometimes you'll be paying you know $60 for an ounce of silver a little bit unreasonable but you know they're part of a series and that series will slowly fade over time at least that's what you're hoping now here's some advantages of bars for one they come I feel in a more varied uh, denomination set and I mean I feel like I've gotten bars as low as one grain and I've seen bars as high as a hundred ounces I feel like that they kind of, you know, they're easier to store in that way. Not not concealing-wise, like rounds, but just easier to buy a huge amount and pay a lot less per, you know, ounce over spot. And then they're easier to store because you have them all compacted into one bar or however many, however many bars you have. Another thing is that oftentimes bars, even though generic bar is not as nice as a generic round, when you have an original bar, it's nicer than, you know, usually than an original round just because of the fact that usually you're not going to find, you know, hand poured rounds. Uh, you're always going to find the pressed rounds, even if they're really high proof coins or whatever, they happen to be part of a special set and everything. You're still not going to find them poured. With bars, you can find them poured and they're more original. You know, they're, they feel a little bit better. And also, another thing you can do is send in your own silver whether it be sterling or even old coinage and get that converted into hand poured bars of different weights. And I feel that those often have a better selling price just because of that reason. Now another thing that I noticed about uh, silver bars as opposed to rounds that I think personally makes them better is I feel that it's a little bit harder to get ripped off with the bar. I don't know why, you know, I might be I might be wrong about that, but like I just kind of feel like 
you're not gonna usually get ripped off as with the bar, you know, just because I feel like security features on the actual silver itself are usually better. Now, of course, you could disagree, and you, I mean, anyone out there who does disagree, voice your opinion in the comments so we can have a nice discussion about it. You know, I like to talk about that kind of thing because I really do think that it's, they usually have better security features. Now, of course, you're going to usually find a certified round over a certified bar, and certified usually means it's real. I mean, it, it basically guarantees it. Now, I do have some certified bars uh, certified by ACB, but I mean, they're not as common, and especially in large, de large denominations, like, you know, anything an ounce and above, which an ounce isn't even large, but I've never really seen certified one ounce uh, bars, about to say rounds there, sorry, one ounce bars, you know? So like, I just, I just feel that, uh, that the actual bar usually has a better feature. Now, again, dis disagree if you want, but anyway, moving on. Now, what are some disadvantages? With rounds, I'm gonna say the opposite of what I said with bars and that they don't come in a very va varied amount of denominations. I feel that oftentimes rounds only go up to five ounces, maybe 10 ounces, but even that's gonna be hard to find. So, I just feel that that's really kind of annoying if you're trying to get the best value, then that's really a disadvantage for rounds. Now, another thing about rounds is they might be easier to track and store, but once you have a lot of them, it, it kind of takes up a lot of space just because of the last thing I said, because you can only get them a smaller amount of de denominations. So for one, they're very hard to set out all your rounds if you know you have 400 ounces and one out and a five ounce round, sorry, then you have 80 coins. So like, you know, that's gonna take a little bit longer to set out than a, for say, four 100 ounce, you know, uh, silver bars that in the end are the same weight and you probably got for cheaper. Regardless, it's, they still are nice and I mean, now bars do have their disadvantages too. For one, bars, kind of like I said before, although they do have the certification on the bar, I really don't feel like that they're very well certified in packages usually. Because I feel that they, more times than not, are just in a case and then sent to you. And you don't know. You assume it's real because you can't really tell. And you don't want to take it out of the case because in case it is real, let's say you don't have any gloves, you get it all smudged up, and boom, it loses a little bit of value. You know? and it may even turn into junk silver if you're not careful. So like, I don't know, I feel like that is one problem with them. You know, just because they're not, that's not really the problem with the bar, but more with the company that's producing them. So, eh, I mean, you could disagree and say that it is just the company itself and I shouldn't penalize the bar for it. But either way, you know, I feel like that is one disadvantage regardless. Uh, another, now I do prefer bars I'm going to say, so I might be a little bit biased, but I do think another disadvantage to uh, getting bars over rounds is the way that your stack kind of looks. I feel that a stack with a bunch of rounds just looks nicer than a stack with a bunch of bars. Even if I like bars better for their stackability in general and, you know, stuff like that, but when it really comes to show, I think that rounds are far superior because they look nice, you know what I mean? They got nice details. Even if the bar's got nice details, it's kind of hard to do it in that shape. You think it'd be easier to do it in a rectangle, but when you're designing something that small, and especially if you're used to doing coins, then it's gonna be a little bit harder, you know? I mean, the designs might be easier to put on there, but in the end, I mean, it's really going to be kind of, kind of a difficult way to do. So like, I really feel that like, does not, you know, look that nice. Uh, sorry, I just did pause the camera there with a lot of yelling and basically just annoyance. But yes, that is the advantage and just disadvantages. So like I said before, for the final decision really here, I'm kind of biased towards bars for their stackability. But then again, I'm biased towards rounds for their appearance, you know? I don't really have any silver rounds. That's another problem. I have copper rounds, uh, 41 ounce copper rounds to be more exact but I don't have any silver rounds, so I really don't feel that it's fair to judge, but in the end, 
I would say that it all depends on your kind of stack. Silver bars are better if you're looking to buy a sheer bulk and you don't really care as much how your stack looks. Maybe, I'm not saying you don't care because 400 ounces of uh, bars is just gonna look pretty nice. But like, maybe you don't, not, it's not that you don't care, it's that you would prefer your stack to just have as much silver as possible. You know, get the lowest spot price and get the lowest, uh, you know, the, the lowest, not just the over spot price, but just the lowest price in general, because if you're buying in such bulk, you might get silver for a little bit cheaper per ounce, too. You know, someone might cut you a deal if you're taking off some bars that they couldn't get rid of because nobody else has the money to buy them. You know, you might get a little bit of a discount. You can always find deals on rounds or bars online, but regardless, yeah, but, and anyway, rounds are usually better for the guy and a guy that wants a lot of pieces in his collection, and maybe he's not looking for sheer bulk, but just the way it looks in general when it's all laid out. So yes, that is the complete video on rounds versus bars, silver edition. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and much respect.